Welcome to the introduction of the TU Delft Maritime Business Game. This video, amongst with a couple of others, will introduce you to the Maritime Business Game and all the aspects surrounding this game. The learning goals of the game are to apply knowledge on ship design, production, operations and marine engineering in a challenging and realistic environment. We'd like you to comprehend the importance of risk assessment and the mitigation of risks and to understand the relation between the main financial reporting elements such as cash flow, balance and the profit and loss statement. Also you will learn to, be, to judge an investment proposal as well as a year report and finally you will learn to function as a team in a stressful environment. The back, uh, to start with the background of the game, the game was developed with input from both industry and science. Uh, what you see here is an overview of a number of shipping companies, a bank involved in maritime uh, financing and the TU Delft and University of Antwerp who were at the core of developing of the game and the models behind this game. The game uh, simulates all markets in steps of one week. This means that there is a lot of data available within a year. Not only the shipping markets are simulated but also the macroeconomic markets of the countries and financial markets related to that. The consistent marit uh, maritime micro to micro economic model from Brun delivers the input for all time series within the game. This allows us to run different scenarios, although in general we'll run a usual a business as usual scenario for the game. This scenario means that it's relatively uh, normal compared to what we're seeing now or what we're seeing in the past for maritime However, if we would like, we would also be able to run a scenario where, for example, there is no trade possible between China and the United States or where the Northern Sea Route is open for the smaller vessels tra uh, trading bulk from Europe to Asia or the vice versa. Within the game, the finance uh, market is visible, the countries are visible, as well as the shipping and the sale and purchase market. The construction and demolition market are not yet included in the game, uh, so you will not be able to buy new vessels and you don't have to worry about vessels being demolished during the game. As an owner, you are responsible for checking the second-hand vessel market for opportunities, securing cargo for your vessels in the cargo markets, financing, taking, keeping a good eye on your finances of the vessels, and of course, maintaining a financial healthy company by having by using the balance, the invoice, bank accounts, and profit and loss statements. Finally, there are some options for hedging, for example, interest. Also, you will need to be able to know and be aware of everything that happens in the area where you operate. The area consists of a number of routes from port to port. And for each port, there are limitations in what they can do and what, will, what size of vessels they will allow and what cost they will have associated with it. Also, there's of course a different distance between each set of ports. And there is also different cargo traded between different ports and different regions. Some ports have a primary cargo and have a primary, different primary cargo than others, and they could balance out, or there could be one cargo dominating the trade between two ports. Finally, once you bought a vessel, of course, all the uh, capacities of your vessel you need to remember and use within the game. A vessel consists of dead weight, so the cargo carrying capacity, be aware that the cargo carrying capacity also includes the fuel the, ca the vessel carries. The flag, which will then again influence your financial performance, as the flag will allow you to uh, pay lower wages or requires higher wages, but it also will influence the tax that you pay. Finally, there is the size of the ship, which is important to make sure that it fits in certain docks for repairs, as well as uh, fits through the Panama or the Suez Canal. Uh, the last element is the engine power or the speed you set the vessel at. The engine power and the speed together are used to calculate the fuel consumption. And of course, if you sail a different speed, you will have a different fuel consumption for the same distance. But you will always take, uh, if you go slower, you will also take longer. We'll get back to this in another video. The world in the model is simplified. Uh, instead of having 250-260 countries, there are only 
16 areas and they consist of a number of countries as you can see in this overview. Each of the countries, each of the regions is, rep is a representation, uh, represented as one country and one economy. Uh, and within each economy several ports can be visited during uh, the game with your vessels. Finally, the game itself is set up, uh, and that is why also this introduction is so important, that you start with this introduction, then you learn about the game, will play a practice round to get to know all the games, to get to know the game in action. After the practice round, and before the playing of the game, the real playing of the game, you will create a business plan, setting out what kind of ship you will buy, where you will be sailing, what kind of cargoes will be your focus, what will be your strategies, and all those kind of things. This will be picked up in another set of presentations. Then you will execute your business plan in a year. And then after that year, you will create a year report, which will discuss how your year has gone and how much of your strategy you were able to achieve, as well as highlight your most important uh, aspect. This was a short introduction. Please continue with the other presentations uh, if you are ready.